Welcome to the Communication Minute. Learning targets for the month of December. We're going to really be focusing in on that perspective taking of ourselves as well as looking at others. We're going to talk some about empathy versus sympathy. We're also going to be just talking about thinking about others. So let's get to work. When we've talked about perspective in the past few videos, we've been talking about that it's a point of view. It's how each and every one of us looks at a certain problem or a scenario, a relationship, a job, all sorts of different things in life. We each have a unique perspective, and it's about us being able to think about what someone else's perspective might be or why they're thinking what they're thinking. It's super important for us as we move forward to be able to do that, to maintain relationships, whether it's an employer, employee, it might be friendships, it might be parent to us. All of our perspectives change as we get older, as we have different life experiences. So we're gonna talk about some of those things and we're gonna to try to make it real concrete about what does perspective mean and how do we figure it out? All right, let's get to some activity. Hi, everybody. Okay, activity number one. We're going to do a little art activity here, and that means you guys are all having a piece of paper in front of you. You all need some type of writing utensil, pen, paper, pencil. Wait, I take that back. No pen, paper, because that's not a writing utensil. So let's try this again, Tanya. You all need a piece of paper. You need something to write with. Pencil, pen, colored marker, if it writes, you're good. All right, don't look at your neighbors. If you can, put your iPad or a book or something in between you so that they can't see it. Or if you maybe just far enough apart, you don't have to worry about it either. You are going to draw a picture. All of our pictures are gonna look different and that's okay, okay? Draw a table. I also want you to draw something to eat. Those are your only two requirements. After, I'm going to tell you what to do. Now that you guys are all finished with your drawings, I want you guys to start talking about it and describe um, to your neighbor, quietly, not super loud, you guys, because everyone in the room is discussing it. So I want you guys to talk to each other about mm, things like, Tell them a story about like the round table and the square table or this so that you guys can start to see if everyone drew the exact same table. Did we all draw the exact same food? Did we put the food in the same place? Or, well, did we have a different perspective? Something different we're thinking in our head than someone else. I want you guys to chat about it. And there's going to be a spot for you guys to send me a message on Schoology so that I can hear about your drawings and how this went for you. Alrighty, get chatting. Bye. All right, next activity, we got, we're going to play Kahoot. Um, I know this is a fan favorite, so we're going to do some per perspective scenarios today. You're going to find that link in Schoology. Have fun. All right, next activity, we got, we're going to play Kahoot. Um, I know this is a fan favorite, so we're going to do some per perspective scenarios today. You're going to find that link in Schoology. Have fun. Transparency, take number three. Here we go. Activity number three, you guys are going to be playing a modified game of Telestrations. And <clears throat> if you've played this game before, then you know that one round you're an artist, the next time you are the guesser. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that you guys can play this game. Here's how we're going to do it. First, create a circle or a square with your tables. This is going to make it so that we can easily pass to our neighbor. All right, everyone is going to be given a post-it or a piece of paper that has an item to draw. That is your starting point. Okay. You also are going to be given a blank piece of paper. That blank piece of paper, you're going to write your name in the corner. Doesn't have to be huge, just we're going for small so that we know when it gets back to you. All right. Step three. You guys are going to draw the picture of whatever it is that you have as your item. Let's say, for instance, my item is a tree. Okay. I'm going to include a picture of my drawing of a tree. Just so you guys know, Everyone is not an artist. 
that's okay because this game you don't have to be sometimes that makes it even funnier because then we start to see other people's perspectives the other thing to remember is people look at things from a different point of view we're trying to sometimes think what might the other person think so being able to help the other people be able to guess what the item is is important so thinking about what other people are thinking all right so you've drawn your picture fold it in half pass it to your right the person on your right you are now going to take that picture open it up look at it and try to figure out what that item is you're going to take one of your blank pieces of paper and write that down okay this is how we're going to figure out um, what the item is. I'm going to, in the next uh, clip, show you a quick little video of, of us playing um, Telestrations to show you guys how to do it. Okay, we have a special guest here with us today. Mara is going to be helping me out and demonstrating our next activity, which is Telestrations. Mara, have you ever played Telestrations? I have not. Ooh, she's in for a little fun today. So, Mara, here's what happens. We're going to modify the actual game a little bit so that we're playing one round as an entire team. That's right, Evans Group, a team. That means there are no big winners except all of you. Yay! Thanks for the enthusiasm, You're Mara. welcome. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Because of how we have to sit in order for us to both be on screen, I'm going to have Mara close her eyes. I had this brilliant idea that I should show you guys what I wrote. And then I just realized if I show you, oh, it did come up the right way. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I am the first person in the game. I'm gonna look at the picture or the word that I have and I'm going to draw it. Every classroom is being given a notepad. You're gonna fold the top piece that says the word, okay? You're going to draw on page two. Okay, I'm going to try to draw this. Mara, remember, I am not an artist. Okay. Can I look yet? No, nope, just give me two seconds here. All right, I'm going to show you guys my picture. Now, you don't share your picture with anyone else, but here's my picture, okay? Again, I am not an artist. I am then going to fold this up, okay? And I'm going to hand to Mara. She's going to open her eyes and look at my picture. Don't say anything. Keep it in your thinking bubble, Mara. You're going to use the pen. Okay. You're going to write down what you think that drawing is on the next page. So flip the well, drawing page and draw. Thing. So on, on Skylar, number three, I mean, you're gonna right write, here, or right here. you're gonna write I'm what you think to that to is, okay? You know, I, I would think it would have to be Okay, <clears throat> so then so, Mara is going to yeah. put hers up and hand it to the person number three. This is so fun. That's me. Oh, okay. I'll just take another pen. Okay. So I look at it and I think, oh, I got to draw this. So I'm going to draw something different because I'm going to match her, her, um, okay. So I drew something different because what Mara said may or may not have been different. So then she is going to look at that picture and write it again. And you're going to go around your entire room taking turns writing and drawing. Now, just so you know, if you play a second round, start with the second person. So the second people get to draw each time too. And in the real game, Everyone has a word and everyone is drawing. 
Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Mara came up with a different one, and I'm going to draw a new picture. Can I go to some of the classes and play this? Mara, if you would like to, you're more than welcome to join in on any classes activity of the for communication minute. Absolutely. Okay. I drew a different picture. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what she was laughing at, if it was my drawing <laughs> skills or, or what, but... Oh. oh, you guys, look at... Now, let's just go backwards for a second. This is going to be a long little shot of video, but that's okay. The first word, dinner. Oh. <laughs> now we're all like, oh. oh. I drew a picture of a dining room table, or so I thought, with dinner on it, which was a fish. Which <laughs> was a fish. So Mara said, fish dinner, which I then drew a plate with fish on it, which Mara then said was baked fish, which I then drew a sun and a fish, and Mara said sunfish. So our perceptions really impact how we view each of these drawings and the words that we come up with to play it. I hope you guys have fun with this game because it's a good one. All right, see you next time. So today we're really working on being able to challenge ourselves to see what someone else might be thinking. So with the game Telestrations, we're looking at someone else's drawing and trying to think about what were they trying to tell us. It's the same thing in communication. It's the game of telephone. We're trying to figure out what someone else is trying to tell us. And that's with every single message we get. You guys think about this. Anytime someone walks up and says, hello, we have to sit and think, what are they trying to say? Oh, they're saying hello. Oh, they're saying it to me. Oh, hi. We have to pay attention to all the cues around us, think about what that other person might be thinking, and then we have to respond or not respond. So here's your challenge throughout this next week. I want you guys to start looking around you, thinking about what someone else might be thinking. What are they trying to say? What are they trying to get across? Is it, you know, a staff member telling you to do something? Wonder why they want that done. And is it okay for us to say, why? Absolutely it is. We can always ask for more information. Oh, so I challenge you to do that. All right, bye.